Hey what's up everyone, today I'm going to review Meizu's exclusive software Flyme OS 6 on my OnePlus One. Now this is a custom ROM that is designed for OnePlus One. But don't worry if you have other phones, I will provide all the links for all the supported devices for Flyme OS 6 in the description box below. And if you don't know how to install this ROM on your phone, I have made a separate video how to install Flyme OS 6 on OnePlus One, you can find that video in i button. Let's talk about some changes. The boot animation now features a black background with new flat logo and it looks great. Flyme OS 6 is more colorful than Flyme OS 5. I would say it's more pleasing to the eye. Flyme OS 5 was good but in my opinion it was boring because of the grey colors. And also I would like to say Flyme OS 6 now looks more like MIUI because of the new fonts and colorful icons. Setting menu has been rearranged to allow easier navigation and just like everything else, settings have color icons too. If you ever have flashed Flyme OS 5 then you might know that there was a bug for notification. Now all the apps are sending push notification without delays. Now obviously you will find some Chinese tags here and there but apart from that it's really outstanding operating system. And obviously you can cite your play store and have all the google services and all the google apps on this OS. The new recent menu is outstanding. All the application can be browsed horizontally and close all button is now below of the screen. Additionally when we swipe app to the top we can kill it but when we swipe it to bottom we have three options to choose. Make it private so it won't be visible for guests, open a multiple window app or lock it so the task manager won't kill that particular app. Also not to forget there is RAM indicator just below clear all button. Definitely better than Android recent menu, it has more features, is productive and it can be really useful when multitasking. And this is how it looks when you put app in a secret mode. Outstanding toolbox app is also redesigned and few more tools are added like flipcoin, decibel meter, protector and ruler. Now let's talk about camera. Camera in this room is really unique and really different. It's quick to autofocus and image processing is faster also. In additional features you have panorama mode, you can scan QR code directly from camera, also you can create GIF images. And cherry on the top is that you can solve mathematical questions directly from stock camera app. So one camera app gives you three different apps functionality and saves you from installing third party apps and that is something I would like to see in Android too. Only problem with this camera is that video recording is not working at the moment, maybe it will work after a few updates. But the photo quality is really good, have a look at some photos I took with this camera. Overall performance is great, everything runs fluidly, animations are outstanding and beautiful, there are over 400 new animations. I have been using Flyme OS 6 for last 2 weeks and I can say that there is no F4 close, no random reboot, everything is working fine, Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working, no problems of pairing my Bluetooth devices with the phone. What's amazing about this room is that when you lock your phone and when you unlock your phone, you can hear awesome sound effect like this. And as I expected, battery life is slightly above average. I got 4.5 hours of screen on time and standby time is better than stock Android or Lineage OS and surprisingly charging speed is faster than Lineage OS and Oxygen OS. It charged my OnePlus One from 0 to 100% in just 90 minutes. 
If you are a fan of MIUI or iPhone, then you will love this ROM on your phone. Definitely something different than vanilla Android or Samsung statues. With everything in consideration, I'm going to give this ROM 4 out of 5. So that's it for today. Like this video if you appreciate my work and subscribe if you are new because I make these kind of videos almost every day. This is Nas signing out and I will see you next time. Ooh.